Hey guys, Anton, I'm here, and welcome back to another Minecraft video. And today I'm going to be showing you guys a really simple mod that came out recently for Minecraft 1.7.2. And uh, essentially, this is a mod that allows World Edit to work in single player. Uh, previously, World Edit could work in single player, and then quite a while back, there were some changes that made it really just not work properly at all. But uh, this is a mod that allows it to work just as if you were using it on a server, except in single player. And if you guys are wondering, the map that I'm actually on right now like this bit of magnificence right here this is actually the waiting lobby map for the new mc.antvenom.com server that's going to be coming up on friday uh, it's going to feature all you know custom mini games and whatnot though however it is in a stress test phase so it'll only come up for two days and then it'll go down then the next friday it'll come up again go down again and then we'll be in alpha phase on april 7th but um yeah we're going to be running a stress test just to try and test all the systems that we currently have done and whatnot and this is the waiting lobby that you are in while while, uh, you wait for your game to start so you join a game and then you wait for a game to start and then there's like there's spleef over there that you can do while you're waiting or parkour that you can do while you're waiting so uh, anyways I'm just gonna be using this map to sort of demonstrate world edit because uh, pretty much like if you guys have ever used world edit before then uh, you'll know exactly what world edit does this is again just essentially a wrapper that allows it all to work but for example uh, you know I'm just gonna show you guys a few very random world edit commands here let me go ahead and let me oh my god my uh, okay, here we go. The wire for my uh, mouse is getting in the way of me typing here, but let me just go ahead and let me just, you know, do this here. Position one, position two, and then replace. Let's just replace it with, uh, let's see, uh, lapis block. I actually don't know if that'll work. Uh, lapis lazuli block. Yeah, there we go. And then I even replaced a little bit right there. So just giving you an idea as to how World Edit works. Uh, I'll give you guys a brief synopsis of World Edit here for those of you that don't actually know what it's for. World Edit is essentially a plugin for typically servers that allows you to do mass changes of certain things. Uh, it allows you to, for example, you know, create entire areas of certain blocks. It allows you to replace entire areas of certain blocks, create spheres, create pyramids, create, uh, you know, um, giant squares, walls, and whatnot, and uh, it allows you to create hollow versions of those things. It allows you to smooth out certain areas. So if I go ahead and I actually, uh, let me go ahead and let me just snag myself a random item here, like redstone, and then if I type in slash brush, okay, brush, smooth, five. This is not meant to be done on this map, but if I go ahead and I do that, yeah, now I'm compressing this balloon down. I'm flattening the balloon, guys. This is what's happening right now. <laughs> If I wanted to re like if I wanted to mess this entire building up there you go But if I also wanted to undo it I could type in undo to undo to undo to undo to uh, It remembers a certain amount of undo so there we go It was pretty much everything that I was able to undo absolutely everything there except any of the plantation that may have fallen out here uh, Yeah, it's gone. So that's that's sort of a side effect Like if something breaks as an indirect result of your world edit, then you won't be able to undo it So like if grass were to pop out of the ground because you did something to the grass for example like that uh, when I undo that that the grass okay well uh, because that stuff was directly affected but sometimes it gets indirectly affected like that gravel that fell there I think that was a bit indirect so that actually won't replace itself I'm not exactly sure where it was but yeah it won't replace itself so it has to be an indirect action so anyways Moving right along here. Um, what's up, chicken? What's up, chicken? So if I wanted to create something like, let's just say, a cylinder. You know, I wanted to create a circle around me. I could type in slash uh, H... I could do either HCYL or CYL. You type it in. It tells you how to format it. Uh, again, uh, let's just see here. What, what could I use as a good block example here, just for the heck of it? Uh, let's go ahead and let's use netherrack. Why not? So actually, you know what? No, no. Screw netherrack. Uh, let's do stained glass. So... 95 colon 14 that should be red and then radius of 5 bam so there we go I can do that I can also change the height so that it makes it much higher you know I could do 20 so bam now I have a giant hollow cylinder here and then I could like I could actually go and try and fill it with something else let's see here let's actually just mess around here just a little little bit let's do 4 and then let's do 10 and then let's do 13 so yeah, you can see like this is now going up the, that much. So you can see it kind of filled the outside border, you know, with this sort of like, what is it? Is this the lime one? No, this is just regular green. And then uh, if I go ahead and I stand right in the middle again, I think I'm right in the middle. Yep. Oh, kind of. There we go. Okay. And then let's go ahead and let's do a different color. Let's do, let's see, three and then let's do 10. So there, there we go. Now we made a purple one and yeah, 
yeah, it's pretty awesome. So that's essentially the kind of crap that World Edit allows you to do. Uh, if you guys are interested in trying World Edit for yourselves, then feel free to check out the link in the description. I'm going to include the link to the wrapper thing that's available for download for this. And uh, that wrapper actually includes World Edit, I believe, because I didn't have to install World Edit. I just kind of installed the wrapper and the whole thing kind of worked, which is really awesome. And then I'll include uh, the a link to the wiki page for all of the commands for this plugin. So if you guys want to mess around with it, like literally just load up a world that you don't intend on doing anything with and just mess around for a while. You will learn a lot about how this plugin works and you can like really do some interesting stuff. I'll actually create something really interesting here. Let me go ahead and let me do position one. And I'm going to go down here and do position two. This is actually going to be an example of how I made a map that uh, will be coming out uh, pretty quickly on the server. So then I do position two. Then I do walls. Uh, let's do walls 98. Okay, so there we go. So there's a wall for 98. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to do replace zero with 98% uh, percent zero, 2% 98 and I need to space that out. I think that's how I do it. Yeah, not 98% 0 2% 98 uh, Yep, that's a, this is essentially how I made a map that's gonna be coming. I think those blocks I think they're properly spaced But anyways, and then if I go ahead and I uh, I set the bottom here to like gold if I replace Let's see replace Zero with diamond block or not. Yeah, I didn't mean to say gold, but anyways, there we go. Bam. And now it is working awesome sauce. So there we go. Uh, it's sort of like this is going to be an example of how I made a map for a game where you have to get from the top to the bottom without uh, dying. And uh, yeah, it's actually pretty difficult because uh, the map is done on a pretty grand scale. Like if you had to make a jump like this and the map was 200 blocks tall. Yeah, you would take quite a bit of damage that you wouldn't want to take right there. So anyways, yeah. That's kind of world edit in a nutshell, and there's a lot more advanced things that you can do with it that I did not show off in this video, guys. Um, I do have some old school tutorials for the plug for you know the plugin mod whatever, but again, be sure to check the wiki page for anything that you would like to know. So, anyways, guys, hope you all have enjoyed uh, you know this sort of old schooly type review type thing. If you guys enjoyed, a uh, rating would be awesome. You know, just let me know how you guys enjoyed the video. But anyways, that's gonna do it for me for now. As always, hope you all have enjoyed. My name is Anvenom, and I bid you all farewell. Thanks so much for watching, guys.